Hi everyone and welcome to episode 2 of my Belgium FM14 career. Today was meant to be a live video against Croatia, a crucial game, but unfortunately when I recorded the video it lagged really badly, which is annoying because on my second YouTube channel, which I started recently, all the videos have been really good and clean and smooth and that has uh, I've been doing various other games on there. For some reason Camtasia Studio, the program I use, doesn't like Football Manager at the moment, and it just lags really bad, which is strange because Football Manager is a simple game. There's not a huge amount of movement in the 3D match engine, any like massive sophistication anyway. But it just doesn't seem to like it. But hopefully, when I show you the goal highlights, it should be okay. We did beat Croatia 2-1. Massive game. We had to win simply because the game screwed me over. In real life, Belgium won eight games and drew two on their way to qualifying for Brazil. On this, I started, obviously after six games, they'd won three and drawn three. So they've already drawn one more than they did in real life. It didn't give real previous fixtures or results, which is really annoying. I don't know because I might have not clicked something when I started a new game, but I would have thought the previous real results would stand because they're really terrible results if you look at them all one goal in each game or, or zero so that is strange which meant it's really much harder for us to qualify it's in our hands now we beat Croatia but it did the game has made it harder but I guess that's better for you guys watching in a way so to the two games we played we beat Peru 2-0 in the friendly pretty comfortable win De Bruyne and Benteke with goals Benteke coming off the bench at half time to score and company was man of the match um, unfortunately, he got injured for the game against Croatia. Vermeulen was also out injured, so I played for Tongan, Van Boyten and Alderweireld at centre-back. Um, I'll show you my tactic now, actually, before we sh I show you the, the goals. It's called the Belgian Arrow. So I've got three centre-backs, a ball-playing defender, a stopper, a cover, central defender as well, an anchor man, which is Fellaini, a register, which... I just well I'm not really sure who to play there um, I've tried about four different players actually in those two games um, but Witzel just seems to like playing central midfield he can't really play defensive which I find a bit strange because I thought he was quite defensive but there you go then I've got these wingers a couple of attacking midfielders and a striker and it's worked in these two games I have obviously won and scored a couple of goals in both of them Unfortunately, Janajai got injured as well, which meant I couldn't give him a cap, so hopefully one of the other teams doesn't poach him. But this is the team I called up for the Croatia game, as you can see. Um, you can see Nangolin suspended simply because he got red carded against Croatia. Towards, well, I think 30 minutes from the end. But anyway, I'll show you the, the goal highlights. Um, it was backs against the wall after Nangolin got sent off and Croatia did pummel us with quite a few shots in corners up to that point we've been pretty dominant um, but and Dembele helped us take the lead initially as you may have spotted Van Boyten got man of the match so both players that played in that central position company and then Van Boyten got man of the matches in our two games so that was a good cross from Hazard and a Lovely finish from Dembele to put us 1-0 up. And then straight after half-time, I brought Lukaku on for Benteke, who had pretty poor first half. And Lukaku headed in Mirage's cross. The two Everton players combining, and the two subs combining. Mirage also came off the bench at half-time. And then we got a red card, and they got a goal back from a corner. But we held on, and we are top of the group. It's in our hands. Obviously, Serbia will be a tough game, but we're at home. And we've scored two goals in both games. And this tactic seems to be reasonably solid. It's not producing amazing possession or even chance creation compared to the opposition, especially against Croatia. But it got us goals and it's helped us win two games. And that's what matters at the end of the day. Um, the other two tacti tactics I do have is this weird... Yeah, this weird one here, which I don't think will work. I, <laughs> but you never know. Um, weird tactics occasionally do work. And just the standard one that they, they had, and I've altered it slightly. Um, but yeah, that's that's probably what I will use if 
the arrow doesn't work, but it would mean I'd have to play fullbacks. Belgium have quite a few fullbacks, but they're not up to the quality of the centre backs, which is why I've decided to go three at the back. Because, um, yeah, they've got a few. Only Van Damme's pretty good. Pogod Nolly is, is decent, I think. Not. Yeah, he's he's quite good. Uh, they got Gilet, who I didn't call up at right back. Uh, various players, but obviously they're really strong in central midfield and they're really strong at the back. And I've got a couple. Well, they're just good down the middle, but then they've also got good wingers. It's just a fullback slightly weaker. And obviously, Courtois is just fantastic. But anyway, that's it really for this video. It's just uh, unfortunately I couldn't show you the live game. The next video will be hopefully live against Wales if Camtasia decides to behave itself. So there will be three games and then hopefully by that point we'd have qualified anyway. But if not, the Welsh game could be crucial. And then we've got a couple of friendlies after that. So I'll probably show the England game just because it'd be quite interesting. And then after that, we also have a friendly in the new year in March against Holland. So that might be the only game before the World Cup warm-ups. So I'll probably show that one as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like. And yeah, we're really we're on course now. We're at the top of the group. It's in our hands. And the tactic worked well. But it's tight. But I think we can do it. See you in episode 3.